Hello. Hello. Simona will start over here. Uh, talk us through uh, your, your double match day today. Well, the double was not easy <laughs> because uh, I don't really feel the game, but uh, it was fun. Dasha is a fun girl and uh, it's always nice to, to play with her. We have two matches already. We played well and uh, I'm happy that uh, we can go through. Go to questions in the room. And uh, the singles uh, with, with uh, Sigmund, two and four, totally happy with everything in today's match? Uh, yeah, I can say I'm happy. A little bit in the second set, uh, at the beginning I was with no energy, but uh, then I stayed focused. Uh, I know that um, I knew that uh, she's going to change the rhythm a lot. She did that, many drop shots, but uh, I was ready for it, and um, I feel like I played much better than the first round. Simo, up against Alexandrova in the next round, are you a bit surprised that that she got, not taking anything away from her, but that she got through instead of um, Igor Svalontek? Well, you never know. Uh, at the beginning of the year, it's always tough, so um, we cannot say that one player has to win uh, its favorite because uh, you don't have matches and um, it's tough to find the rhythm. But I'm sure it was a good match over there. Uh, I didn't watch any because I had to play. Uh, but Alexandrova is a good player, so um, it's going to be a big challenge. We will go to online questions now. And if you have a question for Simona, could you please use the raise your hand function from the WTA? Courtney, your question, please. Yeah. Hi, Simona. Hello. Um, you've had a, a, quite a bit of court time between you know the singles matches plus the Adelaide exhibition and then the doubles matches. So how, ple how what level of, of happiness are you with where your game is right now? Well, I'm really happy with the way I play. Uh, as I said, uh, at the beginning of the season is not never easy, so um, I had I have to find the rhythm. But I am getting better day by day, and uh, also the match with uh, Ash in Adelaide helped me a lot. Uh, I'm a little bit sore, I have to admit, but um, tomorrow is a new day, and I just want to go there and to try um, to play better. Doesn't matter the result, I just want to play better. Is there any concern at all in terms of the amount of time that you've been spending on court with the Australian Open right around the corner, or are you not concerned? No, I'm not. Um, I'm happy that I can play matches. That's why I, um, I wanted to play doubles uh, in this tournament, because I need matches, official matches. Uh, it's always different than a practice match, so um, I prefer to, to get used to it uh, during the tournament. Uh, and then just on Alexandrova, you, you said she's a good player. Can you talk about the challenge of playing her in the quarterfinals? She's playing flat, as I remember well. Uh, flat and very deep, so it's going to be tough uh, to return the balls. But uh, I have to play my game. I will focus on myself, as I do every time, and um, to believe, because uh, it's a new match, a new day, uh, and it's a good um, opportunity to win another match. Do you, um, you know, in the course of practicing on the courts and, and things like that in Melbourne, and I know obviously you were in Adelaide for most of the time, so you've only practiced on these courts for a little bit of time, but how much did you have to make any adjustments to your game given how you were feeling with respect to the speed of the court and the way the ball was moving? Well, normally I don't do changes like that. Um, I try to adjust myself um, as much as possible uh, during the matches because as I said before, during the practice is not the same, so you don't feel the ball uh, the same. Uh, but yeah, I feel that it's uh, much faster here than Adelaide. The conditions are different, uh, but I got used already, so I'm not thinking that much about that anymore. We'll come back to you in the room. Hello. For you away from the courts, have you had a chance to wander the Melbourne streets and does it seem at all changed even though life has returned to a measure of normalcy here? Well, I had the chance only Saturday to walk a little bit uh, outside in the city. Um, I saw so many people. I was happy <laughs> because in Europe it's every city it's almost empty. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was a great feeling to see the people are relaxed here, so not uh, that uh, many people with masks. Uh, I am back to normal life here, and I really enjoy the time. When you go return home, 
what will you likely return home to? What kind of environment? Are people masked and basically locked down, or what is it like? We are not in lockdown anymore. We've been uh, about a few months last year, uh, but uh, the mask is mandatory everywhere. Um, the restaurant just opened because uh, the whole year were closed. Uh, so the life is not easy back home, but um, I try just to, you know, to take it as it is because for everybody it's tough. So I don't complain. I just want to try to see the positive part as much as possible. Just asking a few players about Australian life. Um, you've been with Darren for so long, so obviously a lot of the things he says may have rubbed off onto you, You're calling you Simo and things like that. What about other words that you've picked up over the years and foods that you tried over here? Well, uh, the word mate is like a friend, no? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's using it a lot. Um, well done, mate, <laughs> something like that, yeah. So, uh, and uh, I've tried the Vegemite, but uh, I was not that happy with it <laughs> because I love Nutella, I love chocolate. So Darren said that you have to choose, you cannot combine. So, yeah, other things uh, I just picked from Darren. Uh, the relaxed mode that he has or always. Um, when you have a tough day, you just have a beer and uh, tomorrow it's a new day. So I have that in my mind and uh, it's helping me every time I struggle. Any other words like name crikey or um, no. yeah, good day, you know. Good day, yeah, yes. good day, yeah. Um, I always tell Darren when he stays home with the family and he comes back in our team that he's talking too fast, so he has to slow down. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he doesn't use so many words in Australian, Australian English because uh, I don't get them and I tell him, just slow down. <laughs> what about, have you tried kangaroo? I've tried, but about six years ago, a little bit. I'm not very open to the new stuff, so a little bit I tasted, yeah. <laughs> it was good. extraordinary measures that Tennis Australia went to bring everybody here and the extraordinary measures that Australians went to to um, contain the virus. How feasible do you feel it is that we can have an Olympics this year? Do you have concerns about ten times as many athletes converging on Tokyo in a few months? Well, you guys here did the great, the best job. Actually, you are the best country uh, in uh, in the world that has no cases, and uh, you are so disciplined. And also, you respect the rules, uh, hundred percent. And that's why you are uh, where you are. Um, I, uh, yeah, I thought uh, before coming here that uh, all the rules are very tough, and I was thinking very serious about the 14 days hard lockdown if there is a case in my plane. I knew that and I was really, yeah, it was a tough decision. But I was lucky enough to not having a positive case in the plane. Um, it would be great to have Olympics here if you stay with zero cases and uh, your rules are uh, so much um, respected. Uh, yeah, there is a good chance to, to have the Olympics here. It's so nice. Uh, but also, I think in uh, Tokyo they will have a good job. They will do a good job there. Um, they have to be ready for everything. And uh, so many players, uh, athletes actually, going there is uh, never easy. So um, we don't know actually what is happening next week. So uh, it's too far to think about Olympics. Uh, but I really want uh, them to happen. All right, we'll do our final question online. And our final question is Gonzalo from BA Tennis. Your question, please. Hi, Simona. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, recently, recently, you say that today you played uh, better than the first round. Uh, what specifically did you do, did you improve? What I improved? Yes. You cannot improve much in one day. Uh, you just have a better feeling of the ball. Um, you are more confident on the court. Uh, I moved much better today, so I got used just to the rhythm of uh, the match, and that's why I feel like I played uh, better than first round. 
Thank you, everyone. That concludes our press conference with Simona Hallett. Thank you.